Hello. Hi, how are you today? In this video, I want to wish you a happy Easter, happy spring, happy Ostara, happy Equinox. So this weekend is Easter weekend. Um, now I'm raised Catholic, and as a person who was raised Catholic, we were raised with what I would kind of call a combination of traditions. Um, there were, you know, traditions from every nationality that I'm a part of, which all kind of conglomerated together in addition to some of the ones that are the original pagan traditions that celebrate spring. Essentially, you're celebrating rebirth. Now, it's conveniently fitted into this um, time frame that there is also um, the resurrection. Now, this is frequently thought of as just the resurrection of Jesus or Christ, whatever you call him. Christ is an energy. Jesus was his name. And before we get too deep into that, which I'm not going to get deep into religion, what I want to talk to you about is this is a really good opportunity of the equalizing of light and dark, things growing in the dark, because there is growth in the dark, okay? All winter, things have been underground waiting to poke through. For some of you, that's you. That's parts of you. That's parts of you waiting to poke through and grow. What things are you letting go of? A lot. Of, there's other things that happen that people kind of do as a tradition or ritualize as a tradition. It can include spring cleaning. It could be purge the house. It could be cleaning the thresholds. Uh, you know, making a formality of it where you are literally scrubbing your threshold so that whoever is walking over, this is a brand new relationship with them. You could be planting flowers. Now, if you live in an area like me, Chicago, we have had uh, weather where winter does not want to let us go. It tends to slow, slow things down. In other areas, it's getting so hot that it feels like you skipped right over that time. If you feel like you've skipped right over, please know you may be feeling some urgency and some nesting. And this means your love nest. Okay, your home is intended to be your love nest. What would you call out of it? What would you call out of your phone book? What would you clean or cleanse from your house, from your body? Do you need to cleanse something? It is a very, very good time to do some internal cleansing. In fact, as a person who was raised Catholic, that is actually the gist behind doing a fast or giving something up for what we call Lent. These are the 40 days leading up to Easter Sunday. Now this weekend, we have the start of also Passover. Many Christian traditions are based on old Judaic ones, Hebrew ones, and even going further and further back, where it's passed along and people always do what they have done. They carry forward what resonates with them, what they like, what they enjoy, what is sometimes manageable to do. It's not always easy, and, or it could be easy, an easier way of doing something. How would you like to be someone who has um, interacted with other people from other cultures? Some people have that privilege and some people are very insulated in their tradition where they're not really sure what other people do. There are a lot of similarities and this is because we're all celebrating the return of the light or an equalizing of the light that's an equal time of light and dark. You have just as many daylight hours as you have nighttime hours. In the northern hemisphere, we're heading toward a lot more light. And your diurnal rhythms will be off a little bit. Your appetite will be off. Again, cleanse. If you do not know how to do it, get my book on inner healing. I talk in there about how you can utilize intermittent fasting for your light body, how you can do it in a way that doesn't make you feel deprived, how it enables you to feel your other half through your body a lot easier, and how it helps you to detach from those things of the past. Now let's face it, this is an indulgent weekend for a lot of people. 
for many people, they've already been fasting and they want to party. They want to have a big party and they want to go hog wild and just indulge themselves. And sometimes that is excessive. Okay? You can feel that. Trust me, you're going to feel some of it through the collective. You're going to feel a lot of things through the collective. And I don't just mean one community of a collective. I mean worldwide collective. Because worldwide religions do have that tendency where you can feel stuff sort of ripple like a wave. Is everybody eating the same things? Well, in certain countries, a lot of people just have that overabundance where they're overdoing it. I highly recommend don't overindulge. You'll feel a lot better. You'll feel less stuff from the collective. Look at the link below if you need a handy dandy book to help you with that on inner healing and also detaching from some of that ancestry. Now, what else about this time? Love nest, okay? People get in the mode of they want to fix it up outside. They want to uh, plant flowers. They want to decorate with flowers. They want brighter colors. They want to clean. They want everything spiffy and nice. That's natural. In fact, many times hoarding tendencies come from those times in history when there was nothing. After a cataclysm, you had to rely on found objects, whatever you could find whatever you could scrounge in the rubble until it became a safety pattern for people. Now, if you don't have that, you probably will feel some urge to purge and cleanse and clean and, you know, really get down on your hands and knees and do it. At least that's how the women in my family did it. The men would clean the garage and the women would be cleaning out closets and, you know, putting away winter clothes. Not everyone even had winter clothes. They had one set of clothing. So, you know, this is all evolved where all of the change of the season should still mean something. It is significant. What should it mean? It should mean rising up. It should mean rebirth. It should mean moving forward. It should mean putting the past behind. Now, if you want to join my group, I am having a full moon group. We are going to do a little bit of cord cutting, and we are going to do wishes for each other in addition to some movement to help you enjoy the next coming up time frame here. We have Earth Day. There's a lot of things to celebrate despite the chaos in the world, and it's up to us to make sure that we keep this above board. As the shirt that I got, which is a butterfly, okay? How are you going to transform unless you cut the past? How are you going to transform unless you are able to integrate the connections that keep you fearless? Let's up level. We're in a brand new timeline. This is your opportunity to be in that timeline and make this the time. Get started. If you're not sure of how I do things, Okay, how I get you focused on your light body, which holds the connections to your other half. Join. Join us. Find out. We open the floor for question and answer. And believe me, it can get really lively. And I'm a people person. I enjoy that. I welcome it. You, it is a safe environment. It is safe for everyone. And you can listen and observe. Sometimes it's not a bad thing to be, you know, in observance mode. Or participate. In any event, please have a happy Easter, a happy Passover. If you are Muslim or you celebrate something else, I believe you just kind of finished your celebration. I hope you had a lovely one. And there was a lot I learned by working with people who practice Islam and are Muslim. You were very respectful. I found that I had to phrase things, and yet you're going through the same stuff as everyone. Probably with a little less latitude on your end. So thank you for being my teacher. I know that, you know, there are struggles in the world, but there's also a lot of love. So thank you so much. Hope to see you there. Check it out. Bye. Have a happy one.
Don't eat too many chocolate bunnies. Bye now.